Welcome back to 30 Minute Outlanders. This is Cody. And I'm just going to walk through a little bit of what's going on here since I just stopped in the end of the last demo with 12 villagers in my town having lost, uh, I believe, four recently to hunger because I let the food run out. Uh, gathered all the food in the area of the first gathering hut, forager's hut. And that led to, well, no food. Now I'm trying to... Okay, I see. Set up the gathering hut so that there's more food around. What the foragers need. And I can rotate them around as I need for the uh, food to replenish. I've got a fully assigned set of foragers here. One person chopping wood. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that and add another forager. And same with the planks. Let's just continue to make foraging a priority. We still got two hungry people at the end of the day. All right, let's speed it up. Four hungry people. This information coming. All right, Can build stockpiles next to something that generates something. Yeah, sure, that makes sense. We've almost got all the wood we need for that boat. Uh, 13 days left, so I think I am getting the hang of what this is all about. At least for this version of the demo mission. I am able to put some food aside. Still not enough. Most people have got fed and we got a new baby. And just now get the kind of running out of food signal. Okay. have an available worker, we'll put them to work as a builder. It's getting scarce. Yes, it is. Looking better now, though. And we've got 17 planks set aside, so it looks like we've actually got an almost enough to finish. Wait. That would be enough to finish. Okay, so the builders just need to actually haul it. Um, well, let's just unassign a worker here. That'll put him to work as a builder. Get to it. Another baby was born. We got full happiness here. Plenty of food. If we get another worker, we'll go ahead and put him to work at the foraging prioritize that boat don't know if we need more wood okay we got 15 humans and 16 home oh more babies Build some more homes. Line of homes. So we got a road in the middle, but nowhere else. This is still the priority. Only seven more logs is needed. And another worker. Go ahead and just put the log into rest because I 
just want to get to the end of this mission. Apples and mushrooms. Got it. All right, everyone. Take those planks. No one's cutting trees. No one's sawing wood. Everyone's just devoted to food or building. Yeah, we only need two more logs. <clears throat> you can build the boat. Should be bringing this mission to a close. Yeah, look at that. It's on its way. <clears throat> well, we lost some of our brave humans in these outlands, but we've regained our efforts. We're at a 100% happiness, except, well, no, no, we got need for, need for shelter. But I think we'll get it done before we need that shelter. <clears throat> Bit of a job. Food's hovering in 20. Alright, this is the stats. <laughs> Just simple stats it looks like with some demographics. Alright. Keep it simple is the name of the game. gather here. Then just help build. That's it. We got to that mission. With optional objectives completed, we can continue playing for a little bit. While I look at settings, just to see if there's anything else that I want to do. I don't think so. I mean, everything's like, what are we going to do? We got we to gotta do even more quality? I mean, we might as well. I didn't realize it was going to even be low. What's up with that? All right, highest quality for whatever that's worth. Yes, I like this UI level. Everything else looks good. All right, so that just stays where it's at, and let's continue. I don't know what the higher quality level gave me, but <laughs> it's enabled. All right, so that, I guess we will just finish the level and see if there's another level to play. We're out of here in there next level red ripe birthday 45 day limit storm on the horizon birthday's coming up three farms 50 tomatoes also want 20 followers and 90 percent happiness all right so what i learned from the gathering let's your followers work on nearby fields Good choice to start a big family. Tomato field unlocked. Okay. So many things. We want to grow tomatoes and we're in sort of a desert. We want to build three farms, 50 tomatoes. We've got 12 followers and we want to get up to 20. Your happiness is low. Because they're not employed. We have a... B 
builder's house. And that is all. Let's say we build a forager's hut. Tomato field near a farm. Okay. Is there anything even to forage? There's a few things to forage, a bunch of things over there, and stuff over here. We got nine wood. I believe we want to start a forager to begin with. And then we get a farm going as we're there. Alright, forager is going to be three wood. Farm is six plank. We've got zero plank, so that means we also need to get started with the lumberjack base. We can do a lumberjack cabin. Straight off the bat, I believe, right? Forager set's going to cost us three wood. Lumberjack cabin costs us six. I don't think this interferes with foraging. Let me build it. Yeah, right by the foraging hut. Why not? Oh, that looks good. A foraging hut. A lumberjack's cabin. And that's what we're going to start with in our gathering area is way the heck over there. Look at these little shadows of things. Interesting. And I could also then build a, another gathering hut. Might as well get it planned. Forager's hut. Forager's hut. Yeah, I guess I should... Actually, build these further out. So, oops. Gotta have a yes for the build. So I guess this was a good place. Well, that's maybe, yeah, that's better. Not as much overlapping. Yes, yes. And farm. Let your workers work on nearby fields. No reason not to put one right in town, right? I don't know. Maybe where we got, yeah, complete surrounding. What? Yes. I see. So now, set our priorities. I guess, I maybe we should do another farm here. And that's most of the way. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> All right, so what's the priority here? This forager's hut, this lumberjack's cabin. Let's put all the workers here. At least as many as we can. And get started. Set it all up. Sitting down in the middle of the farm. A pile of rocks. Interesting purple trees. Forger's huts galore. Be the 
second priority, I would say. We got our three. Oh. I know. Food's already a problem. for a sec, make sure we got enough people gathering food. One person chopping the wood. Sounds good. Still got four people here. Let's get it down to three and four on the bit. Prioritize. The next foraging hut. All right. There we go, chopping trees. Gather. <clears throat> yeah, I also have some people over there farming. Okay. I guess since we can't yet supply the wood, that kind of makes sense. food, but not enough. Tomorrow we have a full day of food gathering ahead. One wood we can carry over here. We're still building those farms, not bad, I guess. Some more wood for the next hut. Looks like it's sitting there waiting. Here it comes. Now they can build that hut. The next thing I'll need is a house or two. Go ahead and prioritize that house. Good happiness at the end of the day. Still lacking food. Too bad. The next forge was hot. Let's calm down a little bit of our putting here. gathering. We can get rid of both workers. Gathering should be a priority. Get rid of the one woodworker too. Let's make gathering a priority for now. Three and three. One woodcutter. Yep, two followers are hungry, but there's nine food around, so go grab it. Plenty of food, go get it. food to turn out tomorrow. Keep running out of food here. Six gatherers. Baby's born, leaving someone homeless, but the mouse is on its way. now homed again. Three people are hungry, but we do have food. So they just need to finish what they're doing and go eat. 
I'm out of food again. Food is the struggle. Got an adult? Well, you're a gatherer. Food is a struggle. We're on to building farms. 14 followers, two spaces to live. I guess we'll gather everything else we need and then make the planks. Alright, so I believe uh, it would be nice to have yet another foraging hut. Somewhere where there's plenty of food. Cycle that time. Prioritize building this new forager hut to get more, even more food. These ones are running low. We got the trees with apples here. One more forager's hut right in the middle of that. Plenty of forage yourselves. More babies coming in. <laughs> Foraging galore. That get a worker. Make this one the next priority. We'll plant a sawmill. Where would we put the sawmill? This looks like a great place for a sawmill. And all the wood for this one too. What are we doing on the foraging? So two out of this, two out of this, because these are almost over. All four there. One, one, this here, switching everything around, prioritize the lumber mill. Sixteen people with one home space available, or no home space available, but a home almost completed. Getting to the 20 follower level. Do you need anyone unemployed? One builder.
Getting close to having the sawmill complete. First farm's on its way, but it needs planks. Pulling that fruit off the trees. stockpile. We need to have a worker assigned to it. What do we got? No more adults right now? going. Big extensive demo, I gotta say. Alright, yep. Follower without a home, a baby was born, sawmills finished. Was working there yet. Alright, we got that home. to the tree business, get rid of a couple of builders, get in that business of making planks. Eighteen citizens, twenty on the shelter. gathering. It's about a minute and a half left in this episode of 30 Minute Outlanders. Twenty nine days left toward the goal. And uh yeah, almost there on the number of outlanders in the village. Getting close to the farm construction. Might prioritize one over the other. It's closer. Probably good to have one done before we need planks. Okay, food's rolling in, getting up to 30 in a day. Let's see how far down it rolls. Okay, we got a torch that's on at night. Oh, the resources tab. I haven't looked at that before. These are pomelos. Okay. What does a nice house take? Nice house takes planks. That's it for this 30-minute session. I'll join, continue more next time. Bye-bye.